Pippa is the sassiest, most courageous, unstoppable little girl you will ever meet. She's just wonderful. On some days, Pippa's just like any other five-year-old. On other days, even the simplest of tasks is difficult and painful. Pippa has a rare genetic skin disorder called epidermolosis bullosa. She was diagnosed with EB shortly after birth. Pippa was born with very little skin on her hands and feet, so it was very evident straight away that something wasn't quite right. We were told she might never walk. Chances are we'd be lucky if we have a teenage daughter. Because her condition is so rare, the hospital didn't really know what was going on to start with. It took 10 days from that point for them to give us a diagnosis of epidermolysis bullosa. We're there with this tiny baby, very, very pale. She had these huge open wounds all over her body. We had to dress her, so we had to make little boots for her, special dressings. It was really stressful and really, really difficult. Pippa's condition causes blisters all over her skin, inside her ears, up her nose, her eyelids, inside her mouth, every part of her body that contains skin, her scalp to her toenails. From holding her hand, from wearing clothes, walking, brushing her teeth, washing her face, combing her hair, everything will cause a blister if you're not extremely careful. We can have anything on a good day from 20 to 30 blisters to a bad day where we've got maybe 200. A daily routine of balms and oxygen baths brings some relief to Pippa and reduce the chance of infection. Treatment is more damage control than um, treatment. Things like wearing all her clothes inside out, minimising her amount of walking and what she does when she's out of the house. It hurts when my blisters are done. EB regularly reduces Pippa to tears. She takes morphine for the pain. She can't get out of bed some days without having paracetamol. As a mum, as a parent, it's really hard to see your child in that amount of pain. You don't want to hear that from a child. The only guarantee is tomorrow Pippa will have blisters. There's no hope for change at the minute, so there is nothing we can do to take it away. Pippa's manual wheelchair will cause blisters on her hands. It means that if she's in school, she can't chase around with her friends. That makes Pippa feel very left out. Not being able to get somewhere or not being able to access something is very, very difficult for a child. It is heartbreaking to see that. But Pippa has been given a lifeline, a new state-of-the-art wheelchair which has given us some real independence and opened up the world of the great outdoors. Thanks to charity New Life, which receives funding from children in need, youngsters like Pippa have their lives transformed by specialist equipment that families might otherwise be unable to afford. Pippa calls her wheelchair Tiger Tracks because it's orange and we've decorated it with tiger stripes. It doesn't really look like a wheelchair, it goes extremely fast, which for a five-year-old is always a great thing. I like playing with tracks because um, it goes super fast. She can do 360 spins, she can go through puddles, she can go off-road, she can go on sand, over mud, through the woods. The tiny tracks has given Pippa and us as a family a lot more freedom. When we see all of the kids, her friends, that a lot of them are envious that she has this wheelchair that it is fun to drive. So it makes her feel that being different can be a positive as well. Trax is a good wheelchair. For Pippa, Tiny Tracks really has been life-changing. 